Good morning, Canvas kids. I hope that you're all doing well. I hope that you've been enjoying this beautiful weather. It's beautifully sunny, but not too hot. That's the way I like it. We've had some crazy storms though, haven't we? I've seen some interesting things the last several weeks in Arkansas. I don't know if you have seen some of the things I've seen, like the crazy hail. Oh my goodness, that was insane. I wonder if you see Dudley. Mm, can you spot him? Can you find him? He's there somewhere. Okay. Well, let's quickly review where we've been. We are talking about trust. We're talking about putting our trust in Jesus, no matter what's going on around us. We're answering the question, is trust a must? And we're looking at people in our text, in our Bible, that show us when it's worth putting our trust in Jesus, knowing that God is ultimately in control. We've been singing some songs that kind of reflect some of those ideas. Remember, we have been singing trust and obey. Today, our lesson is going to really pull those two words together, trust and obey. We're going to see somebody who did those two things today. But today, we're actually not going to sing that one. We're going to sing a repeat song. We're going to sing praise him, praise him together. I want to do the same thing we did last time. I'm going to throw that second verse in just for us, Canvas kids. Trust him, trust him. And then we'll sing, thank him, thank him. Then I have another song after that we'll sing together that we have not sung in a long time together. So let's start with praise him, praise him. Praise him, praise him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Praise him, praise him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Trust him, trust him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Trust him, trust him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Thank him, thank him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Thank him, thank him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. And you can watch that same video that I placed for you on the resources page. It was fun, wasn't it, with the kids singing it? I like that. The next song we're going to sing has a video that I think you'll really like too. It might even get you up and out of your seats and moving around. We're going to sing, He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. And I like thinking about this song with our unit this time around because in order to trust God, we have to know that he's ultimately in charge and in control and he's doing good things. We don't, we don't trust people if we don't believe that they have everything under control. When we think that someone's maybe doing something to hurt us or that maybe someone doesn't really know what they're doing, we don't very easily say, oh, well, I trust that person. So in order for me to really trust God, I have to remember he's got this whole world in his hands and there's nothing that falls out of his hands. So let's sing that one together. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got all the little children in his hands. He's got all the little children in his hands. He's got all the little children. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me. In his hands, he's got you and me. In his hands, he's got you and me. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Watch that video and sing it with your families. It's fun. I think you'll like it. I feel so much peace and, and rest in my heart when I think about God being completely in control. It does not mean that everything's going to go my way, but it does mean that nothing will go out of God's way. So he will take a difficult situation and he will use it to help me be better. 
to help me understand him better, to help me love other people better. And if you're looking at a difficult circumstance in your own life, one of the best things that you can do is to ask yourself, how can God use this to help me understand him better? What can he show me about himself? Sometimes we spend all of our energy thinking about the hard thing that's happening and how sad we are or frustrated we are or sick we are or mad we are. But when we can switch our attention and say, okay, God, I am, I'm mad, I'm frustrated, I'm upset, I'm disappointed, but I know that you can use this and you can show me something about yourself. That's a, a really good way to use that those feelings that you have to turn them back to God. We have looked at some men that walked down a road to Emmaus and were very confused. And then Jesus came along and he, they learned a little bit more about themselves, what they did or didn't believe about Jesus. And then they learned a lot about Jesus. Jesus showed up right in the midst of their confusion and they put their trust in Jesus and he was with them. And then we learned about Job who loved God with all his mind, with all his heart, with all his body, just the way the Bible tells us to do it. And yet some really unfortunate and hard things happened. And we saw a man say, I don't care what happens to me. I'm still going to praise God. You cannot take that part away from me. And we, we look at Job and we think, what a great example of faith and of humility. Today, we're going to read about another man, or you're going to watch a video about another man that I'm pretty sure that you already know a little bit about. His name is Daniel, and he spent some time with some very ferocious lions. I think that you know a little bit about what I'm saying. We're going to think about Daniel. We're going to take a look at what led up to the point where he was put into a lion's den. What ha what made that happen? And then we're gonna look at what happened as a result of that. The video that you watch will take you through the story quickly. And then we're going to come back here and talk a little bit more about what we saw. There are two links on the resources page. The first one you're gonna see come up on the screen and it's the video I'd like you to watch. The second link is a song. And it just kind of takes the whole story about Daniel, well, not the whole story, the story about him and the lions, and squishes it together into a kind of fun song. So later, after the lesson, you can go back and you can click on that link, and then you can learn this song about Daniel. I think you'll like it. All right, go watch it. You're paying attention to these two things. What led Daniel into the lion's den? How did he end up there? And then what was the result of his time in the lion's den? Okay, we'll talk in a minute. I'll see ya.